Okay, in this last video, I'm going to show you one of the methods that you can use for figuring out what each binary digit should be according to whatever the decimal value is. <clears throat> so we know if we go to the plus sign sprite that one of the things we'll be doing when this sprite is clicked then we'll be broadcasting a message new message and it's going to be decimal changed okay now there's other stuff that has to happen too you have to make the decimal value go up by one unless it's 255 then it goes to zero etc etc <clears throat> but for now I wanted to go ahead and create the broadcast message and of course I really want you to do broadcast and wait so I want to do the decimal changed get rid of that okay so broadcast decimal changed and wait now <clears throat> if I go to my first binary digit then in here we want to get a when I receive let's see let's make this comment go away there we go when I receive decimal changed now I want to do the math necessary to figure out what this digit should be <clears throat> okay now remember I had said that our main value up here decimal value we don't want to do any math directly with it <clears throat> um, because that would change what our value is so I want to create a variable and I'm going to call it deck temp because it's going to be a temporary decimal value and I'm going to set this one to be for this sprite only because each sprite is going to be doing its own math we want the variable to be local to the sprite uh, we don't want it to be global and then by naming them all exactly the same thing we'll be able to copy paste our blocks all right <clears throat> so in this guy deck temp I'm going to uncheck the checkbox so that it doesn't display on the screen so the very first thing I want to do <clears throat> is I want to set my deck temp to be equal to what my decimal value is so I'll take my decimal value put it in deck temp then I'm going to do all of my work with deck temp okay now <clears throat> for this first digit in order to determine whether this first digit is a one or a zero all we need to do is to take our original value and do the modulo operator on it which if we go in the operators we can go down here and we can find the mod operator so we want to do deck temp modulo 2 and this will tell us what our remainder is and we need a control and we'll do an else and we need an equal so we're going to say okay if my deck temp modulo 2 is equal to the value 0 that means there was no remainder when I divided by 2 that means that my first digit should display the digit 0 so I want to go to looks and I want to switch my costume to be the costume for digit 0 okay well if the remainder wasn't 0 the remainder must have been a 1 if the remainder is 1 then I want to display I want to switch to custom 
binary digit 1. <laughs> so there's our first block and then of course after I'm done updating the costume I want to do a broadcast and wait that the binary has changed. <clears throat> so that's my the basic block that I need to get this first number. Well to go over to the next binary digit before I do the remainder test I'm gonna need to divide my decimal value by 2 so that it gets smaller so each time I move over a decimal each time a digit place I need to divide by 2 another time until I get all the way across so to do that I'm gonna go ahead and do, do, do. going to duplicate that block and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to drop it on that sprite right there and then I can park it in the middle to get rid of that so now if I go to the next binary digit 2 to the 1 we'll see that this set of blocks that I dropped on top of there have been copied into here. Now if I go to data this particular sprite already had the deck temp variable in here. I had already created it in anticipation of um, copying these blocks over. So now in here I need to separate this because before I do the remainder check I'm going to need to do a division. So I want to set my deck temp. <coughs> I'm going to go to operator and I'm going to do a division. And I'm going to I want to divide my deck temp by 2. But I know that for instance if my deck temp value say we're an 11 in scratch dividing by 2 would produce the answer 5.5 well I don't want a 5.5 I just want the integer part I just want the 5 so I'm gonna go to the operator and I can go down here to this block that has a whole bunch of different functions and I know that this function floor will give me just the integer part if I so if I have a 5.5 it'll give me just the 5 um, so if we look at this I think if I do that and double click on it you can see it returns a 9 okay <clears throat> So instead of having that 9.5 in there, we want to get the floor of deck temp divided by 2. And then we'll put that in there. So now what we've done, we started off with deck temp equal to our original decimal value. We took deck, deck temp, divided it by 2 use the floor function to get just the integer part we put all of that back into deck temp and now we can reconnect this so we can do the remainder check on deck temp to figure out what the next digit should be <laughs> and then we'll broadcast and wait so now <clears throat> as long as I create a variable called deck temp that is a sprite only variable not a global variable it has to be a sprite only and if you look at the um, list of variables you can tell the there's a line in the middle anything above the line is a global variable anything below the line is local to the sprite 
So you want to make sure it shows as a below the line variable. Then as long as you have that variable, you can continue to copy this script into each of your next binary digits and just add more of this line right here to do the division. So the next digit over will need two divisions. The digit after that will need three divisions. And that will give you the method to get your binary digits set up correctly.